it's often the case that we have contradictory views about simple phenomena in life. For example, uh, adults prefer not to be old and therefore they use nonsensical statements like 50 is the new 40. On the other hand, uh, teenagers actually want to become older so that they can break away from their perceived shackles with grown-ups. So we can interpret the same phenomenon, in this case age, in two different ways. The video today is about rust, where I'm going to show you that although rust is regarded as ugly and often undesirable, uh, it does have advantages. And the first example that I'll use is my commuting bicycle in Cambridge, which is now about 16 years old and has done 56,000 miles. So rust obviously has a clear advantage if you live in Cambridge and use bicycles. I was visiting the Colorado School of Mines and David Matlock kindly took me to a national park in the Rocky Mountains. I saw that there was a building and hundreds of miles of fencing that were made from a steel which is special in the context of rust. This is the Cortan steel, which was invented, I believe, by uh, US Steel. And it contains uh, small concentrations of copper and chromium, which result in a rust layer that doesn't easily detach from the surface of the steel. Therefore, it protects the steel. Furthermore, the beautiful patina of rust uh, that develops on the steel fits in very nicely with the natural environment and the steel requires no maintenance whatsoever. There is a small corrosion rate but it is so small that it really doesn't matter over a 40, uh, 40 year period. So you can see Cortan, the weathering steel, in the beautiful Rocky Mountains in Colorado. But I was giving a talk at the Worshipful Company of Ironmongers in London 
explaining uh, the significance of rust and at the end of the talk the prime warden of the company is uh, Mike Collette who used to work for Rolls-Royce he pointed out to me that I don't need to go to the Rocky Mountains to find uh, Corten. I just have to walk out a hundred yards towards the old wall of London and there's a beautiful Corten bridge for pedestrians. This is a sheep in steel clothes discovered in Lincolnshire. Now Lincolnshire is a county of England and that is the place where battle tanks were first invented. That's where the name tank comes from because to disguise what the purpose was they basically explained that they were making water tanks. <laughs> 